So the Apple Watch Series 7 was definitely a sizable upgrade from the Series 6. You got a bigger screen, better battery life, faster charging, and using the actual device itself was much easier because the screen was so much bigger. But it kind of left us wanting more, right? We expected them to bring the Apple Watch into Apple's new design language with the more squared off design. We see it with the iPhone 12 and 13, the iPad mini and the iPad Air. We see it with the 24 inch iMac. Basically Apple's going for a more squared off, thicker design for their products and we expect them to bring this design language into the Apple Watch Series 8. So stay tuned. I'm gonna break down exactly what we expect from the Apple Watch Series 8 in this video. Starting off with the design, like I said, they're gonna bring it into their product lineup and make it a squared off design like we expected. Now with this squared off design, it allows them to make the bezels even smaller because they don't have to round them out at the edge. So I do expect them to keep the same size but shrink the bezels just a little bit. Now this device may be a little bit thicker as well to accommodate a bigger battery for better battery life because the display is gonna be so big and so bright. When we jumped from the Apple Watch Series 6 to Series 7, we got a 20% larger display and we got a 70% brighter always on display as well. So that draws battery. With this new Apple Watch, we also expect to see Touch ID in the power button like we see on the iPad Air lineup. It's very easy to incorporate, it's a no brainer. So we do expect to see that on this new Apple watch now when it comes to the back this is where the apple watch really shines that's where all the sensors are that tracks your heart rate tracks all the things that gives you the data that makes the apple watch worth it and this year we expect two new things number one a glucose monitoring sensor and number two we expect a temperature sensor that's going to be able to accurately track a woman's menstrual cycle having a glucose monitoring sensor and a temperature sensor to track your menstrual cycles and your fertility is going to be game changing because nobody else is doing this and to quote something that tim cook said a few years ago, he said that when you look at Apple and the contribution that they made to society, you're going to think about first and foremost, health. And this is something that Apple's been working on in the background. If you look at their patents for many, many years to incorporate a glucose monitoring sensor, a lot of people have diabetes and to have a one-stop shop where you can have health data and track your blood glucose without having to take off your watch or prick your finger or do something like that is gonna be game changing. Now in terms of the sensor that tracks your temperature, that is something that we see being leaked and that would make sense if you look at the way that Apple has been pushing for equality, right? They want more features for women, they want more people to be included, people of color. So bringing features like this is one other way that Apple can kind of pander to that audience whether it's right or wrong, I don't really have a say in that. Now in terms of price, we can expect this Apple Watch to start out at at least $400 and we expect this device to be released right alongside the iPhone at the September event and start shipping early October. Let me know in the comments what you think about this device and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.